This lesson covers the user view in Interaction Administrator. From the Interaction Administrator window, you can expand the people container. From the people container, once it's expanded, you would want to select the user container. Once the user container is selected, then you'll see a list of all the existing users in your system. You are then able to select a user. If you right-click on a user, you're able to do several different functions. You can create a new user, delete a user, or choose from any of the other selections from the right-click menu. If you double-click on the username, then the user configuration window opens up with all of its different tabs for configuration. You are able to navigate from one tab to another. The tabs are named based on their function. Many times when you're looking at multiple users, there may be things that you want to change. So from this window, you're able to select something or view something. Instead of choosing that, like this dialer license here, on one user at a time, and then having to go down and click the OK button, select the next user in line, open that user's configuration window and go to the same license, you're instead able to go down and utilize these arrows to move between users. As I click the button, you can see the name change in the list behind the window. The left button will move you up the list, whereas the right button will move you down the list. And that concludes the user view in Interaction Administrator lesson.